All right, so I do have uh, that many files here. From here to here, those are the video files from movies here, from the Osmo Pocket 3. And then here from the MIG 2, I have all those WAV files with the 32-bit audio for this. And uh, that's what I have there. And then here I do have a Final Cut uh, document where we go on to make this um, okay, we're gonna import the stuff, okay? Uh, can I? So, this is my import thing, and we go here on my external drive where I have all my files. <coughs> How did I call this? OP3 Nightwalk, here. Those are all those files in here. <coughs> Let's select them all. And then we just import them all. And now they're in here. Now you need to pair the video with the with that audio, otherwise you would have to drag on the one by one. Drag this over there. So let's try this here with um, making this window like this here. Okay, so we can see more information here, right? So this whole thing happened today. I can rename my uh, my project quick here. Um, Osmo Pocket 3 Night Walk. This will be my, my movie title. And then here I have the movies in here. Um, uh, this is the movie, right? Yeah. No, that's the other... Uh, mm, the wave files here. The wave files here. Wave file... 48 kilohertz audio output wave file. Um, does it show the bit depth audio here? Yeah, audio file? Bit rate. Bit depth, 32 bit depth. See, that's the audio 32 bit depth. And then on the camera itself, it doesn't display the bit depth of the camera. Um, it's not in the data. But the audio bitrate is 285 here. And there it's a way higher bitrate. So, yeah. So we, we think that it's a 32-bit uh, wave file and this here is uh, the audio file. Okay, so now um, let's go back to the general here. All my video files are I'm sorry, are recorded in uh, with a D log, so I need to apply a LUT to all of them. I do this over here, camera LUT, and there I have my Ospo Pocket 3 here. Click on that, so now all of them have a LUT applied, that's something. And then basically the first wave file with uh, the first um, video file, you would right click and say multicam clip. It can sync audio, and then here, you give it a name. So, call this clip 1, right? So, I have the name here, 001, so this is the first audio file. Okay, and then it creates that, yeah, clip 1. So, that has both audio files in there now, right? If I drag this in here, you can right-click on it and see the video angle and the audio angle, and you can see... It shows me those names, unknown camera, unknown camera. So this is because those cameras are not named. Let's delete this again. Okay, so let's do this. We name this first. Here, this is our wave files, our audio files. All those audio files need a name here. Camera name here. So that would be the MIG-2, right? That. And then all those files here. With a D on it, camera name would be Pocket 3. So I don't know about my C1 here. It doesn't have the name on it, right? So let's move that out and let's try this again. So this is our first uh, at 1812 recorded. First wave file, and here 1812 video recording at the same time. Right click new multicam clip, um, we call it C1 for clip 1. 
Good. Um, 24 frames per second, right? So we pull this in here. Then now we see active video angle is pocket three, active audio angle is MIG two. So it has the 32 bit, it picked the better quality audio. And then, uh, have this in there. So now we have to do this for every single one of them. Now we go to number two. Here, number two. Right click, go to C2, enter element create C2. So now you go step by step, the third one. So this is very um, time consuming. <clears throat> and I don't know if that is really, is there a better way to do this? That is my question. And how does DaVinci Resolve do this? Is there anybody out there that does use DaVinci Resolve? Is that in any way easier there? That's my question. Okay, thanks for watching this and I see you in the next video then. Oh, by the way, this audio for this video was recorded with the MIG-2. This microphone here from DJI was recording this audio while it was paired to my iMac here. That's how that went. Can we see this? iMac it is. See?